Hi there, it's John. Welcome to Cycling on a Shoestring. Just sitting in my office and I came across a video I shot a number of years ago on a pair of ride-on glasses from Rudy Project I thought you might be interested in. Now, keep in mind this was shot before Cycling on a Shoestring and these glasses can be expensive. Uh, plus, I actually have the prescription lenses uh, for these glasses as well, which are terrific, which can cost even more. But if you're looking at investing in a pair of glasses, uh, these might be the thing for you. Uh, very, very uh, helpful for me when it's been out on the roads here in Alberta. And then, while I was uh, looking at this video, I was thinking about glasses I've worn over the years. And I've worn a lot of really cheap glasses. These are the ones I think I purchased first that were a little more expensive. I made a paid. 50 or 60 dollars for these Louis Nicarno glasses which I retired years ago because they kind of got out of style but it's really strange how things that are old are almost new again because this type of style is almost coming back now so maybe I'll pull these out and put them on and go a little retro when I'm cycling uh, this coming summer around Alberta. Anyway, here's the video on the Ride On glasses from Rudy Project. I hope you enjoy this, maybe it's helpful to you and thanks a lot for watching Cycling on a Shoestring. Hi there, it's John and I just wanted to talk a little bit about a new product I bought for my cycling, both road and mountain biking, and it comes courtesy of Rudy Project. They tell you a little bit about the Rudy Project Ride-On Glasses with laser red photochromic lenses plus a little added thing, the RX insert, the prescription insert for people like me who have weaker eyes as we're getting older. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. Maybe you can make a, a good judgment when it comes to buying sunglasses when you're out running or riding or doing anything outdoors. So let's take a look at the Rudy Project Ride-Ons. A little bit of background information for you before we uh, get onto these actual glasses here. I've been a Rudy Project fan and user for, for many years now. I've had a pair of Rudy Project sunglasses for about six or seven years. And these ones I bought, oh, yeah, again, about six or seven years ago. These are the Rudy Project Kerosenes which have been just terrific glasses for me. As you can see, they're mirrored, uh, kind of a smoky uh, gray lens in them. Do a great job uh, for, for cycling. They keep the wind out, they're easily adjustable, and I've really enjoyed wearing these glasses. I actually have an extra set of lenses for these ones. Uh, I bought the yellow ones because uh, when you have a dark, uh, darker day or it's a little bit gloomy out there, you've got some overcast sky. These really help to brighten things up when you're out cycling. Now recently, um, I started talking to my wife a little bit about these lenses. I've taken good care of these glasses, but as you know, you drop them, things happen over the years. They get a little bit of uh, scratches on them. So I said to my wife, you know, I'm getting scratches on these lenses. It'd be nice to get something new. So I contacted Rudy, asked him about getting re uh, replacement lenses for these glasses. But I did know that these ones had been discontinued a little while ago. They do not make replacement lenses for these anymore, unfortunately. But Rudy stood up and said, listen, if you'd like to get another pair of glasses, we'll give you any glasses that we've got and you can get them for 50% off. So after looking at other glasses, I ended up turning in or actually wanting to buy these ones. These are the Ride-Ons, a very popular model, if not the most popular model that uh, Rudy makes. These have laser red photochromic lenses in them. Plus, I've got the RX insert. I'll tell you about that in just a moment. Uh, I really, really like these glasses. Uh, first of all, a little, little bit about the lenses. These ones change as the light changes. So in darker days, they're clear. And as you can see, they just came out of the case, basically. They're almost clear right now. You could wear these glasses inside, no problem, and they would be almost clear. But as you get into brighter light, they get darker. I think they cut off between 7, 75 and 80% of the UV rays when you're in bright sunlight. And they change absolutely flawlessly when you're out riding. I've ridden these both on the road and mountain biking. And I think the key to this type of lens is that you don't know that they're changing. You just go from different light levels uh, and, and they're changing seamlessly. You don't really notice it happening, which is exactly what you want. They cut down on glare beautifully. You're not going to see any of the, the sharp flares when you're looking at things. And uh, I've ridden them on the mountain bike trails as well. And as you can imagine, you're going from uh, open sky into woods and back and forth. Never even really noticed them changing at all. So they, they work just perfectly for you. They're also nice because they're easily adjustable. They've got 
the adjustable nose piece which you can bend in and out move forward and back the way you like them you can get them off your face more they also have these uh, arms or i guess the temple mounts that can be bent but you can bend them to shape your face so that they'll stay on nice and tight i found these were a little bit stiff at the beginning and i found that as you if you put them on for a little bit they warm up i think they bend a little bit easier that way but really no problem bending them and once they're bent they stay that way and they stay on your face as far as the weight of these glasses i think they're about an ounce or maybe a little less than an ounce you really aren't going to notice them on there i found myself every once in a while pushing up on them uh, because i was wondering if i still had them on which is a good thing that's not a bad thing at all they were staying put they didn't move at all and you really don't notice them on your face also for being a cyclist if you're ripping down a mountain i live in alberta canada you want to be able to look out over your bars when you're down in the drops and you're trying to get aerodynamic maybe going 80 to 90 kilometers an hour down a mountain you want to make sure you're keeping that wind out now i haven't had a chance to go 90k an hour down a mountain with these but up to 70 75k i don't really notice a lot of wind getting in but it there is enough uh, air getting behind them that they don't fog up which can be a problem if you're cycling they wrap around nicely and again the clarity is terrific with these glasses you're going to really like them if you do end up uh, buying them now as you can see i have got the rx insert this is my prescription lens which i sent away for uh, from rudy they came back within seven to ten days quite quickly and they snap right into the frame and they stay in there i'll tell you i was kind of concerned about putting them in thinking they might pop out if you know if i was out i hit some bumps out on the road they do not come out um, they came with these little little bumpers as you can see down in the corner here these little rubber bumpers just to provide a little bit of a cushion in between the actual rx lens and the sunglass lens so they're not rubbing against each other and i actually had to take them off so i could reposition them to get them exactly where i wanted them and they're actually hard to get out that's a good thing they're not going to come out right now and i don't think i'm going to really take them out of these uh, glasses ever again although i can put them into these ones they will fit which is kind of nice if i ever want to switch them out i can wear these glasses as well so uh, the, the clarity of the lenses is terrific again i live in alberta so i get to see the mountains a little bit better right now uh, they don't add a lot of weight to the glasses you can certainly feel it i have a very very weak prescription i only need it for distance um, beyond about 10 meters i get a little bit blurry and it doesn't get all that much blurry as you go out into infinity for me but they do add a little bit of weight it might be a little heavier if you have a stronger prescription they might have to make the plastic lenses a little bit thicker so that might be a consideration for you but i really don't i really didn't notice wearing them at all with the lenses in there but i'll tell you it's so nice to be able to see clearly now after so many years of riding with these without prescription lenses at all never really noticed it now i wish i had uh, the rx insert for these all those years because they really add so much more to my riding what can i say about them i think they're terrific i think i paid about 135 dollars for the glasses altogether just the glasses uh, again that was about 50 percent off and my prescription inserts were a little dear at about 217 dollars luckily covered under my prescription plan at work so i didn't have to pay uh, anything for those it was completely covered well worth it i am a rudy fan i have been for a long time for seven years uh, six seven years i've been riding with rudy project glasses they stood up for me to get me these ones for a very good price i can't recommend these any more than this it's, they're just terrific glasses you're going to love them i think i'll be a rudy fan for a long time plus they come with this really great hard case to protect them and they come with this little bag as well to help you uh, clean your glasses uh, when you need to do that great product the Rudy Project ride-ons with the laser red photochromic lenses and the RX insert. Great product. Can't recommend them enough.